What does Pappy's Bar and Chill, where I'm at right now, Pappy's Bar and Chill, there we go. The Dirk Diggler, all right, the Dirk Diggler, and Walking Street, Angley City. What does that all have in common? What's up guys and good morning from Angley City, Philippines, a hot, sweaty day today. Guys, I seen this here on the telephone pole. All right, and I wanna share it with people. There's a lot of people in Angley City do watch my videos, believe it or not. I wanna share this here. It's posted on a telephone pole. Right. Here it is, a missing dog. You know, when your pet goes missing or something like that, yeah, you're sad, you wanna find it. Missing dog, dog lost. If returned, a reward of 50,000 pesos. Contact number is there. There's the puppy that's missing their dog. My puppy has gone missing in Angeles City on Friendship Highway near Avia Hotel. I am reaching out for your help in spreading the word and increasing the chances of finding my beloved pet. Please share this advertising with as many people as possible to help bring my puppy home. Guys, what bigger platform to uh, put this on than Philly in the Philippines YouTube channel, right? They're offering 50, 50K. There's the contact number. There's the puppy. Let's get this puppy home to these people. All right, guys, I am off for my second acupuncture treatment today. Uh, I know a lot of people didn't really watch the video. That's all right. Take the time and watch the video. All right. If you want to, it's up to you. It's up to you. I don't twist people's arms to watch the videos, but uh, I'm going down to my second treatment today. Uh, it's down A Santo Street. We're just going to walk and talk for a little while down A Santo Street here because uh, it's 10 minutes from Walking Street where I where you got to go. Hey, all right. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's see what we can run into along the way. Today is the ninth. Today is a holiday. I don't know what holiday it is today, but today's a holiday and tomorrow's a holiday. The 10th. <coughs> It is, I think, the end of Ramadan. But I don't know why we have two days off. I give up on uh, the holidays here. Good morning. I give up on the uh, holidays here. Uh, and uh, no school today. Or wait, half a day. That's it. No, no. Holiday, no school. And uh, when we do go back to school, I think it's a half a day. The heat. Guys, the heat has been horrendous here. Horrendous. Uh... They've called off school now for the past week or so. It gets too hot. You know, you guys, back in the States, we always pay the tax, right? We always pay that school tax. And we complain, but school tax covers air conditioning, heating. You guys know what I'm saying. Well, here, your public schools, you have morning class and afternoon class. You know, afternoon class, these kids get hot. They've had kids pass out from the heat. Good morning. And uh, so they just call off school. Um, someone might say, well, why don't they have air conditioning? Well, air conditioning costs money. Air conditioning costs his electric bill. Uh, Hannah and private schools, you know, we send Hannah to a private school. So yes, that money goes to that luxury of say air conditioning. Uh, public schools, people might say, well, why don't you go out and buy a bunch of fans for the school rooms? Great idea, but the school only allows. Now, this is the school system. All throughout the whole entire system here of the Philippines, DepEd, Department of Education. All right, what they say is, uh, from what we're told, each room is allowed X amount of fans. No more. And they have to be a certain size. Uh, so, yeah. I can't go buy a 100 fans for a, a, a schoolroom and throw them in a schoolroom because they only allow so many, uh, so many sizes. And that's also because of the fact electric. So, but anyways, it is what it is. 
Here we coming down here to Roland George. There's Miss Mona. There's Miss. There's the beautiful Miss Mona. How are you, Mona? I'm good. Good. Well, I got to keep going. I have an appointment down the road. I have an appointment down the road. You want to come here? Not today. I have to get to my appointment. So, all right. Thank you. Uh, Roland George, the oldest bar, right there it is. Roland George Bar, yeah. the oldest bar, the oldest bar in Angley City. Yeah, right. Yes, it is. That is no lie. What's up, buddy? You guys, even hygiene takes a holiday break. <laughs> hygiene holiday break. Here is the hygiene place, right? Angley City, primary HIV care clinic. This is where all the girls go for their hygiene. There's all their services. But you come down here during the week when it's not holiday, and this place is lined up here with all the girls getting their hygiene, which I I never understood why the girls would need to get tested for STDs or any other any of those other, you know, diseases, right? STDs, right? Why? Why would they need to get checked every week? Why do they have to come down here? Get checked every week. Go back to where they work, their establishment. Show that they've been to hygiene. Show that they've been cleared. When, if I'm not mistaken, constitution is illegal in the Philippines. This girl's waving to me. This lady's waving to me. I, I want to come over and uh, show her place here. Never understood that. Hello. Hello. Frizo's restaurant, right? Yeah, it's a Frenzo restaurant. Friends, friends zone. Like friend zone, Frenzo restaurant, right? Yeah. Something like that. You do breakfast. Okay, breakfast. And then sandwiches. And the main dishes. Who, uh, who owns, who's the owner? He's the owner. Oh, she's the boss. Yes. You're just the owner. That's how it works. All right. <laughs> how long you been open? Two months. Two months now. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll have to come up here and try breakfast. Yeah. I'm a breakfast person. Oh, I'm not lunch, dinner. Lunch time, I'm at home in the air conditioning. My wife cooks dinner. So, uh, but I'm a breakfast person. So I have to come up and try it sometime. Eight o'clock a.m. All right. Cool. <clears throat> Give it a try. Thank you. All right. All right, guys, I have arrived at uh, MTE Clinic and Geriatric Wellness Treatment. It's on Suler Street. There it is. Let me show you here. There it is. 107-C Suler Street, Balibago, Angeli City, Philippines. Contact number here it is. Daniel and Rona. Rona is the one I go to. Uh, right next to Pinky's Deli. Right here is Pinky's Deli. Pinky's Deli is under construction. Under construction, Pinky's Deli. Uh, so it's right next to Pinky's, guys. It gives you an idea. Bubble B Laundry Service right here. Suler Street right here. Right down there is MacArthur Highway. Up there, the road to the right is a Santos. One euphoria up there. I'm just kind of giving you an idea where it is. So I got to go in here, get my treatment, and I'll let you know how it worked out. All right, guys, I just finished up my session, my second session, uh, the acupuncture and everything. I, you know what? It, how do I feel right now? My body feels good. I mean, uh, the woman, Dr. Rona is her name. Um, it's weird, like, she can feel parts of my body and say you know this is this and this is this and this causes this pain and this it's like it's weird uh, you know after they put you after she put all the needles in me on my back you know you lay there and like you just you can feel your body blood just circulating through your body it's weird it's hard to explain how do I feel uh, you, you know the area where I'm having the, uh, you know, the problem with my skin. It feels good. It actually feels good. It 
does it feel 100%? Is it the miracle? Did I just get the miracle uh, treatment for the, uh, you know, for the skin? And the needles feel and the dead skin. Uh, no, but I do. It does feel good. She did give me oils to put on it. Two different types of oils. Uh, plant oils. Like I said, guys. Sometimes a pill. Sometimes a pill. Let me turn it off. Get this camera in front of me. I hate hanging it out there like that. Somebody come by and snatch it out of my hand. Uh, sometimes a pill doesn't cure you all the time, right? You know, the modern medicine. Aches. You got aches. You got pains. Here's a pill. This will cure you. Sometimes it don't work. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to try alternative medicine like that. Acupunctures and all that. Uh, I recommend her. Go in, talk to her. You got aches, you got pains, you got this, you got that. Go in, talk to her. Let her assess you. Remember guys, Everything's negotiable here. Remember that. That's all I got to say. Go and negotiate when it comes to payments and stuff. Uh, you guys seen where she's located. It does not hurt. If you've got pain you've been dealing with, you can't sleep. Uh, there's many, many things. Go in and see her. That's all I got to say. God, is it warm out. All right, guys, I, I, I got a question to ask you. What does Pappy's Bar and Chill, where I'm at right now, Pappy's Bar and Chill, there we go. The Dirk Diggler, all right, the Dirk Diggler, and Walking Street, Angley City. What does that all have in common? Because I'm gonna order, I would like to order the Dirk Diggler, all right? Do you know who Dirk Diggler is? Uh, they only know about that is the Wagyu. So you only know about the Dirk Diggler uh, as being the sandwich. Yes, yeah, sandwich. Your boss, your boss Eric. Yeah. Ask ask Eric sometime who Dirk Diggler is, <laughs> because Dirk Diggler's a guy. All right, but you have to ask him who Dirk Diggler is. But I will have the Dirk Diggler, okay? <laughs> you ready to go? Yes, Dirk Diggler, all right, all right. <laughs> Guys, if you don't know who Dirk Diggler is, all right, let me tell you who Dirk Diggler is. And then I will tell you what it all has in common here. Dirk Diggler is a old porno star. What do you think, Robert, 80s? 70s, 80s, 90s, look it up. But I've heard of Dirk Diggler, all right? Was he around when that other guy was around? What's his name? Uh, Johnny Holmes and uh, who's the other guy? Uh, Jeremy, Norm, Norm, Jer you guys, you porno freaks know what I'm talking about, right? So, uh, <laughs> how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing a video right now. Yeah. Is it okay? No. No, okay. I will block you out. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right. So, anyways, you guys know. You guys heard. Hang on, hang on a second here. Hang on. All right, let's get back into this again. Let's get back into this. Uh, I don't mind subscribers stopping, stopping and saying hello. No big deal. Uh, but what do they all have in common? That's the question. All right. Dirk Diggler. You come here. Here's here's how it all ties in. <laughs> you come here to Pappy's Bar and Chill Street Seats here on Walking Street, right? You order the Dirt Diggler. You eat the Dirt Diggler. You turn into Dirt Diggler. At least, below your waist has turned into the Dirt Diggler in your mind, all right? You always want it to be Dirt Diggler, the porno star. You always want it to be that porno star. Well, you can do that right here on Walking Street. You go to the clubs, you get yourself, I don't know, two, three, four, it don't matter. It's your fantasy about being a porno star. You get your girls, you turn into Dirk Diggler, and uh, it's all combined. 
You got your sandwich here, Pappy's. You turn into Dirk Diggler. You go to the bars, you get your girls, and you become that porno star, Dirk Diggler. How do I know this works? Well, there's a guy right here with living proof. I heard stories. Oh, he heard. He I heard. heard. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, there it is, guys. I'm going to show you this Dirk Diggler when it comes out. All right, guys, you ready to see the Dirk Diggler? What is the Dirk Diggler? I'll tell you what, it is looking pretty darn good. Check it out. That is the Dirk Diggler. Meatballs, sauce, cheese. I think this is a six inch hoagie, hoagie roll, but it smells good. I guarantee if it smells good, it's gonna taste good. So let me dig into this and I will let you know how the Dirk Diggler tastes. Wait, I just thought about that. It sounds kind of weird and gross, don't it? I'm gonna taste the Dirk Diggler Diggler, and then let you know how Dirk Diggler tastes. That sounds a little gross and weird, right? These guys here, come on in, get a Dirk Diggler. Get a Dirk Diggler, come to Pappy's Bar and chill. Directly across from the Viking ship. Get your Dirk Diggler. All right, guys, let's uh, let's let's walk and talk. To it. Dirk Diggler was good, that meatball sub, very good. It came out hot, came out warm. I can't eat it all because I can't have the all them bre all that bread uh, so I ate half and I got the other half to go but well worth the price I mean if you want fine dining go up yeah, there's a Ducati yeah kind of looks like an in max <clears throat> with Ducati stickers on it I would say that's an in max with Ducati stickers <clears throat> be my guess Anyways, you want that fine dining. That's an M Max, yeah. Uh, if you want that fine, fine, fine dining, go up to uh, go up to their main eating place uh, and get that fine, fine dining. Happy. <laughs> ah, yeah. Hey, how are you? It's 12 o'clock. 12:31 o'clock. See the streets are busier, uh, but it's hot. I'm walking up to get my motorbike and go home. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you gotta go down to Pappy's Bar and chill, street eats, hang out, get something to eat. You know, it, it's good. To me, it's good. Others will complain, of course. You got the negative Nancys, the people that are gonna complain about it, you know, but uh, I think it's good. So, anyways, guys, I'm wrapping this one up. I'm getting in air conditioning, and we'll talk to you later.